Hey guys, I'm Big Kev, and this is Seven Days to Die. The holidays are over. Um, hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving if you're in the States. If not, hope you had a good uh, weekend. Uh, so anyway, right now we're on day 20. Uh, I'm just gathering some resources. I'm going to add some more spikes around my base. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get some more iron, some more stone. I'm uh, going to probably need some more wood as well. Um, we have a little bit of time, but I just want to get everything set up before the seven-day horde comes. And we are going to be spending the night in our new base. This will be the first time in our base with the, um, with the seven-day horde coming. So hopefully it holds up. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get some more supplies, and we'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, so I've been uh, running around collecting. It's starting to get late, so I'm headed back home. What I think I'm going to do, I have the concrete pad where I tore down the house. I think I'm actually going to start digging a mine. Just because in seven days to die, anybody that plays knows it's kind of, there's not a whole lot you can do at night. I mean, you can get buffed up and you can handle the zombies and whatnot. I'm just not to that point yet. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and dig down, I think, in the middle of the concrete pad. Try and get a mine going. Um, definitely need more iron. Uh, let me know in the comments, what do you guys think the most efficient way of collecting iron is? Um, curious to see what you guys think. And real quick, if you guys like the videos, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Um, as for now, I've been pumping out a video roughly every day. Um, I might be changing that. I'm not sure yet. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys like videos every day? Um, should I start spreading it out? Uh, do you like the length of the videos? I, I feel like 20 minutes is a decent video. And that's kind of what I end up with after I do a recording session. But let me know what you guys think. I'm curious to know. Um, I'm just going to go ahead right here. I'm going to dig down a little ways. And get myself, see if I can get some kind of half decent mine going. Um, let's see if I can find some more iron, some iron deposits. I, I, I've, in the past, I've found quite a bit of iron doing this. And I want to make the wood log spikes and start building up my defenses. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and dig down a little bit. I'll be back if I find anything. Alright guys, so I've been mining most of the night. Uh, really didn't come across any deposits, but... I do have some iron built up, so I'm going to go ahead, let's see, straighten this out a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and um, start replacing these, and what I need to do is, I want to switch to the wood log spikes, now like I said in the last video, I'm not going to get rid of the spikes I already have. But as they get destroyed, wow, that takes a lot more resources, doesn't it? I should have been out getting wood. I got time. I got the rest of the day. But as these spikes get destroyed, I'm going to go ahead and replace them. We're going to start on the back here. And what I want to do, my goal is to get at least... Uh, I don't know, three rows. I'd like to get up to three rows. And uh, make them all iron. Upgrade them all to iron. Uh, that's going to take me a little while. Definitely not going to be done in one episode. And for now, I'm just kind of replacing them. I don't think I'm going to have time today. But after the horde, I want to get back to the derelict city. And I want to get... I want to check... Um, I believe there's another cracker book there that I didn't get into. And make another attempt at finding the uh, mini bike book. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead 
and keep dropping spikes. Now, when the horde comes, I can kind of run them around the perimeter and let the spikes kind of take them out. Although we're hurting on this side a little bit. Uh, well, there's not much I can do about that. We're going to go, uh, I'm going to go get some wood, make some more spikes. And once I get this done, I'll be back. All right, guys, so I got the backside done. And as I was headed in, I realized that I haven't done anything to upgrade my entrance. Um trying to get a little bit done. I'm, I don't think I have the time to get it um, set to concrete. So I'm hoping this holds and I'm probably going to spend the night on the back side of my base. Um, just to kind of keep them away from this. It doesn't mean they're going to because once they get in here they're going to tear the crap out of it probably. But at this point there's not much I can do. I've got Part of the stuff I need for my workbench, once I get my workbench, I'm going to start um, doubling up the concrete and whatnot. Um, I'm going to upgrade these and I'll show you what I've got done in the back here. Just did what I said I was going to do. Replaced all the wood spikes with the wood log spikes where I could. I upgraded them. A um, couple here. These will... These will hold up quite a ways, but I am out of iron, so there's not much I can do. These wood ones probably won't last a night. Um, interested to see. These are a thousand each. And I got a couple over there that I upgraded. I believe they're two thousand once they break down. But this is going to have to do it for tonight. Um, this is what it is right now. I'm going to go ahead. I got a couple more that I'm going to put down around the entrance here. Uh, just to try and keep them off a little bit. I'm actually thinking, I, I think I'm going to change my entrance. I think I'm going to block this off and make a bridge with a gate. Uh, not a gate, just a, um, what I do is I'll make a tower here. And I'll put a bridge across that's not upgraded that I can just go in and actually take that down. Uh, we'll get to that later. Don't have time for that today. Uh, definitely going to upgrade this door as well. Uh, I'm going to need some more parts for that. But yeah, I'm going to uh, hang out for a little bit. Try and upgrade some more. Add more spikes on the outside. And we'll be back when the horde comes tonight. Okay, so it's that time. Horde's coming. Um, I was able to get all but one block. Oh, that was a bad move. I'm in trouble. Don't ask what I was thinking. Whew. Okay. That wasn't cool. So this is a problem here. This is definitely going to be a problem. start anywhere if they get in I can survive uh, it's not like I'm just gonna instantaneously die but I'm trying to keep them out I have a feeling they are gonna get in though I kind of forgot that this is the third horde 
I think it'd be okay though. Really, I'm just interested to see how this holds up and see what I need to do to going forward. That door is gonna take a beating. That's okay. I think it'll hold. Well, guys, there's not too much to do. I'm gonna go ahead, wait out the night. And we'll take, oh, we got the pharaohs here too. That's cool. And they're all going for the door. I can't even draw them away. Not cool. I'm not even getting their attention. Yeah, that entrance, we're going to have to redo that. I'm definitely going to do a bridged entrance. Um, I have a feeling they're going to get through that door, and that house is going to take a beating because I'm going to be on top of it. Yeah, that this thing is going to work out well. Alright guys, well I'm going to wait out the night. We'll see you in the morning and we'll take a look at the damage. Okay guys, so we made it through the night. Uh, surprisingly, my door held up. Um, I'm actually kind of impressed. That's the first time I've used one of those. Generally, I just go straight to the vault doors. Um, but the upgraded steel door actually did really good. So now that these guys can't sprint after me, I'm going to try and get their attention here. Nope. Don't do it. So I broke out the hunting rifle for this one just to kind of make quick work of these guys. I want to clear these guys out and then we'll uh, kind of take a look and see how well everything fared. Man, I am a horrible shot. I think I'm going to have to start upgrading, um, not upgrading, I'm going to have to start making ammo, because as bad of a shot as I am, I'm going to need a lot more. Let's just go ahead and search these. Probably going to end up with a lot of junk. I did have a couple ferals last night. Usually when I find those, they're carrying some half-decent loot. But I don't think they're going to last this long. Pretty sure the spikes took them out. And that door held pretty well. Surprisingly. 
So they've wiped out pretty much all these spikes on this side, which is okay. We'll, we'll replace all those. Ouch. These held up pretty well. Let's see, I don't have my hammer on me, but... Yeah, those did good. They did their job. We lost a couple. A couple that weren't upgraded. So definitely worth putting in the extra effort to make the wood log spikes. So right now, let's head inside and see... Uh, I mean, nobody got inside, so really it's just my door. Now, we took a little bit of damage here. I'm glad I got that upgraded. Ouch. That's the bad thing about spikes. Let's go ahead and heal myself here. So this door, we took a beating, but it's a little more than half. Well, probably, yeah, more than half, but not bad. So while I was running around hiding, uh, real quick, I just want to show you guys one last thing and then we're going to wrap this up. While I was running around hiding, I started harvesting this just for the iron. And I found there's actually like a compartment in here. Not a big deal. This guy didn't have anything on him, but kind of neat. Maybe in the future we could do something with that. Make some sort of base or room out of it. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. Um, we fared pretty well. I've got some work to do to fix everything up. And we'll get to that. But the next episode, I'm going to head into the Derelict City and see if we can find a mini bike book. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you next time.